website to a live server. If you recall, we did a video on how to install WordPress locally using ZAMP. Today, we'll be teaching you how to move that installation to uh, a live server. So the first thing we do is you go to your installation. Then uh, you go to ZAMP folder. In ZAMP folder, you come down to Haiti Docs. In Haiti Docs, this is a website that contains all the WordPress uh, files. What you do now is you add it to archive. You create a zip for it so that all the files will be packed in one place. So once this is done, the next thing you do is you head on to localhost localhost slash php admin. Once this loads up, remember our database, the database we created, my database. What you do now is you click on my database. This is our database. What you do, you now go to export and then we export our database. Remember to check the quick option and then store our, the format should be SQL and then we export it. Now our export is complete. Now we're done with backing up our local host uh, or WordPress sites from the local from our local host. We now have the the files and then we have our database. The next thing we do is log on to our cPanel where we want to move our local uh, WordPress site to. Now what you do here now is the first thing you need to do is you head on to database here. You create a new database. We call it new install. New install. We create it and then we save it on a notepad. Yep, this is it. And then uh, we're going to create a new user. We'll call the new user a user for that database. We'll call it new user. And then this is the password we're going to use. So we'll head back. We'll now add a new user. We'll call, we'll call it new user. And then this is the password. Then we we'll create the user. So now you might be wondering why, from the name I used here, I I didn't specify this first part. But well, you can see it here; it's still the same thing. We just copy this, and then paste it here. It's the same thing, and then we we'll now head back. Now our user and database has been created. Now we're going to add our database, our our new user to our database. I will do that. We'll come down to add user to database. This is the username, and then this is our database. Now click on add. Now it takes you to the page. You click on all privileges and then you make changes. Okay, once this is done, we're done with setting up our we're done with setting up our database. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to upload our WordPress files. Uh the uh, the our local host locally hosted WordPress file that we backed up. We're going to uh, uh, upload it. We are, the place we upload that is on our file manager, you go to the file manager. Yep, in the file manager, you come down to public HTML. Yep, in this folder, you don't need anything here. You just delete it all. Yeah, and then you click on upload, and you come down to where your WordPress local WordPress installation was backed up, and then you drag and you drop it here. Oh, you wait for it to, to upload completely. Uh, if you have fast internet, this will take less than a few seconds. While we wait for it uh, for the upload to complete, we'll now go back to our cPanel dashboard and then we'll now locate PHP my admin. You can use the search PHP my admin. This is it. We'll now click on it. Yep, this is a PHP admin. Remember, this interface looks similar to the local host interface. You can see it's almost the same. It's the same thing, but the difference is this one is locally hosted on your PC, while this is hosted on a live server and can be accessed. So what you do is this is our, our database. The database we created, the empty database we created. We open the database, and then we now go to import. 
okay after that uh, this is our uh, database we installed uh, we sorry we, we we downloaded from our local host if you remember so what you do now is you just drag it and then you drop it here you drag it and drop your okay this is successful so when you come to structure yep this is it the database has been uploaded successfully now we'll now head back to our file manager okay our upload is complete the now we what we do is we extract extract it remember extraction is done on the public html public underscore html extraction is completed we now delete this we don't need it we delete it then we now open this this is where all our wordpress files are what we do is we select it and then we we'll move it to the public html public underscore html the reason for this is so that our website will load us with a street domain no subdomains or subfolders not will yep that is it it's been done and then we don't need this folder anymore because it's empty we delete it we delete it once this is done you now head to on your live server you now locate wp config this is the file you edit it okay once you've done this you now come down to locate where they say define db this line define db name now this is our local host database name if you can remember now we replace that with our live database the database we created on our live server we replace it and we create also created a username yeah this is our username copy it and then we we'll paste it here and then the password remember when we installed it on a local host we didn't, we didn't need any password but now we need password on the live server and now paste the password in between these signs yeah make sure it's like this once you've done this you will save it okay you close that tab and once this is done the next thing we need to do now is to make sure that our wordpress site doesn't load to our local host url we need to update our url from our database to do this you open your database in your php my admin you now come down to options wp options in the wp options you see the first option you see site url as you can see it says localhost slash my website and then the home address you now see localhost slash my website what you do is you, re you edit this two and then replace it with your url the your, your url for your live server now url is this we replace it and then we save we do the same for for the home you replace this and then you save now once this is done our wordpress installation is done now to test our website to see if everything is fine we now go and then we we'll open our website yep as you can see it loads fine but the work is not yet done the next thing we do is we we'll log on to our dashboard log on to our admin dashboard we'll be using the same password we used on our local host if you remember this is our pass password and admin details and then this is it now click on login yeah it logs you successfully in you can see login everything is fine now in in order most people do forget this and this is the most important aspect especially if you have blog posts and pages on your website i'm going to show you before i tell you how to solve that so you can see this post on our website if you want to view this post now see what you're doing you're going to get a 404 error this is a server error and the same thing for pages if you go to pages and click on view this page it's going to say 404 the reason for this is you need to update your permalink 
you need to update your permalink and to do this you go to settings and down you scroll down to permalinks and all you just need to do is to come down no changes you don't need to do any change you just need to click on save and once you click on save your permalink structure has been updated you go back to all post click on this you see it's going to load successful and then you come to pages you click on this it's going to load fine no more errors and also once this is done uh you might also uh be wondering if uh teams is up everything is up and then remember you go back to the settings you go to i think general settings yep everything is here you check your your reading reading settings uh, you remember we didn't check this button during our installation on localhost uh, it's still good as we didn't check it because now uh search engine our website can be indexed on search engine Okay, in our next video, we'll be showing you how to migrate from localhost to live server using uh, a plugin. Thank you for, for watching our video. Remember to subscribe and drop your comment wherever you're confused. Thank you and goodbye.